Another day of summer weather in full effect with temperatures uh, heating up into the middle 80s. Thus far, one of the hottest days we've had so far this year. And we'll continue to have the very warm weather throughout the course of the evening. You can see the middle 80s across the state line right now and across a lot of the uh, upper Midwest. And in addition to that, humid air in place, middle to upper 60s with the dew point temperature. So that puts us right within that humid range. And because we're so warm and humid, showers and thunderstorms are bubbling up just like we saw as of yesterday. Our areas stay fairly quiet. It's been somewhat of an unfavorable environment for those thunderstorms. But take note, uh, we do have some activity south of I-80 that we're keeping an eye on. It's now working its way towards Lee County. Lee County it may end up picking up a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, so uh, spots like uh, Dixon may end up getting a little quick rainfall over the next hour or so. Uh, these aren't expected to hold together all that well, so not expecting to see too much in the way of strong thunderstorm activity, but something to keep an eye on if you've got, uh, say, plans to be in the backyard over the next hour or so. Here's future track. We continue to see the spotty shower activity work in uh, through the next hour, and then it fizzles out quickly. May see another round popping up at around 8 o'clock tonight, but same story there. It doesn't last too long, doesn't provide too much for rainfall, and mainly stays to the west of I-39. Uh, so areas like Rockford and spots east of I-39 may end up staying dry throughout the course of the evening. Later tonight, we do have dry conditions just like we saw last night, and then we'll rinse and repeat all of this as we go into tomorrow. So overnight, staying mainly Mainly cloudy and mainly dry temperatures in the upper 60s looking at that humidity staying high then we almost copy and paste today's weather into tomorrow dry start seeing some sunshine afternoon showers and storms expected with all of this just like we saw yesterday and of course again today so here's the results on future track you can see we start out in the upper 60s we get to around 80 by noon and that's when things start to heat up and then those showers and storms bubble up uh, we'll see those advance into the state line closer to about 3 30 better chances for more widespread coverage so as you can see here future track does bring in a little more in the way of showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow evening so more spots getting rain this time around and note that that rain will help things cool off we drop almost 10 degrees under the rainy conditions we'll stay in the low 70s to upper 60s throughout tomorrow evening after sunset we lose that daytime heating and we'll see conditions fizzle out and dry up going into thursday morning so up to about 83 for a high tomorrow slightly cooler than today just because again we should see more in the way of widespread thunderstorms Heading into Thursday, dry start of the day, but then a cold front arrives. You can see that that'll kick up some rain showers and then scatter showers and thunderstorms throughout much of the evening. We dry out then Thursday night and cool off a lot, going from the low 80s to the low 70s with low humidity. By the end of the week, we'll stay sunny and then start to heat up next week with dry conditions in the long term. James? Looking forward to that, Alex. Thanks.